it, it was a great career. And um, even though we, we had plenty of financial pressures, plenty of arguments with the bank managers, and plenty of marching around all air, it was still good. You go back to your boat and you go out and do your business. I remember um, uh, going through the Blasket Sound and there was no local boats around. We were beside the England Fishing Harbour, but there was no, but it was calm. Um, sun was shining and um, I thought of the <laughs> famous one of the Bible. Your boat is so small, the sea is so big, everything around me was big. The cliffs were big, the blasted islands looked big, and the sea was, uh, I had never seen an, 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 the Atlantic swell. So everything was big. After a very, very, very short time, I got used to the west coast of Ireland. I, I took a, what would you call it, a scale, yeah. I took a bra for the, the west of Ireland. That was that was the time when I loved the sea. You didn't ask for the job. The school asked the skipper or owner of the boat, would you take an apprentice from the school? And that's how it happened with me. And I, I um, was asked to go to Skerries. And that's where I commenced my trawling career. Sometimes the fish were available in, in very big quantities. And many, many times we filled the boat and boats came from all around. A lot of the boats done very, very well. It was a, an excellent fishing, and um, there were great years. The, the uh, early 70s, the boats made quite a bit of money. And, um, but there was total closures in um, in the early 80s. There was a total closure because fish got very herring fish got very very scarce. And the boats had to go to other fisheries, and um, a lot of boats got in trouble. We went from a country that was very, very lucrative country with fish. When we are now, with regulations, we're not allowed to catch our fish. I've seen four, five, six lorry loads of cod leaving this harbour for one day's fishing. I, I, I don't believe I'll ever see that again. The numbers of boats down here at Scarlet's gone down and they went to work in different jobs there's work on the land there's work in the Dublin airport they're taxing and they're out of fishing so basically fishing is a dying trade but I can I can see the stocks coming back but it's, it's, um, it's going to take a long long time it's going to take a lot of work who's going to benefit in the long term in 20 years time, I don't know.